Good morning, players. Now, I have received over a dozen messages regarding Dre McCray and Von Jackson. Listen, if you're sending me messages on Facebook, I cannot respond because a taint sniffer got me banned. So please don't get mad if you don't receive a response from me. I don't even know how long I'm going to be banned from Messenger. But you can always send me messages through blackheretnews.com and you can send me messages at Double D Mother on Instagram. Now, let's get to it. So this is Marvon Jackson and Andrea Rodriguez McCray. She is a social media influencer and he's also in it with her. She goes by the name Dre McCray or Slay with Dre. Now my research shows me that she's been an influencer for years. I'm talking way back in 2016. She also has a decent sized following on Instagram and TikTok, but Facebook by far is her biggest platform. So this is her husband, Marvon Jackson. He's a veteran of the Marine Corps. Now, when Vaughn met Dre, he was still in the Marine Corps and she had two children. Vaughn did not have any children at the time. Now, according to Vaughn's mother, Letitia Bias, once she learned about the relationship between the two, she immediately had concerns. She said the reason why was because Dre had two children. She was five years older than Vaughn and she was already divorced. Like many parents, she wanted her son to enjoy his youth and she felt like they were moving too fast. Now, unfortunately, when she expressed her concerns to Vaughn, their relationship changed and eventually it was cut off. And it wasn't just her. According to the mother, he cut off contact with everyone, including former friends, other family members, everybody. So Vaughn went on with his life with Dre and within seven months of meeting, she announced that she was pregnant. So they built their family, but he ended up injuring his knee in the Marine Corps and he was discharged. So Vaughn started doing therapy and he jumped full-fledged into the social media with Dre. How long have we been dealing with each other? 35. <laughs> 35 years. So they had the three children and they both worked together on the social media. They would do cooking videos, dancing videos. Dre was doing her makeup and they got a huge following with a lot of sponsorships from what I could see. So they was probably making a good bit of money. Now here's where things start to stink. So on May 23rd, 2022, the police were called to Dre and Vaughn's home. According to what Dre told the police, it's in the police report, Dre and Vaughn had been arguing for a couple of days and they had been sleeping in separate rooms. On May 23rd, they woke up that morning. She wanted Vaughn to drink some tea. He did not want to drink it and that's what caused the argument. He went out to the shed at their house. Now, I'm not sure of the timeline between how long he had been in the shed to when she went out to check on him. But in any event, she went out to check on him and found him up in the rafters coming down. That's all Facebook will allow, but I will say that it was an attempt to uh, unalive himself. So according to Dre, she cut him down, called 911 where they were able to help her perform CPR until the police got there. When the police got there, they transported him to a local hospital, but they were unable to assist him. So he was airlifted to another hospital and he was placed on a vent. So according to reports, when Dre came back to social media, she started telling people that Vaughn was having seizures, like he had epilepsy or something. So of course, everyone is thinking that Vaughn's condition is caused by him having a seizure. We the reason why we even went this route was because my husband started having seizures and I don't want that for him. Like I want to see my husband happy and healthy and seizure free. And and because he wasn't, like I started going down the rabbit hole. What what can I do to save my husband? Now, meanwhile, Vaughn's mother doesn't know anything about this. She actually found out about her son's condition on social media. And when she saw that Dre was telling people that he had epilepsy, that really gave her pause. So she started doing some investigating. And that's when she got her hands on the Yuma police report and she found out what really happened. So when she found this out, of course, she said something to Dre. Then Dre goes and takes out a temporary restraining order against Vaughn's mother. The restraining order was issued because Dre said she feared for her safety. So now Vaughn's mother can't visit him in the hospital because of this restraining order, but it did expire on June 30th. Now in the midst of all this, 
fans as well as his family are concerned for Vaughn's safety. So apparently Dre is on a vegan alkaline diet. That's why she looks a lot smaller than she was. And they're alleging that in early June, she wanted the hospital to withhold food from Vaughn because she felt like the food was causing a bad reaction. And also because of her behavior, Vaughn has been kicked out of four different hospitals. But now he's going to have another one. So that was a bit bothersome because then I tell the nurse, like, he's about to have one, like, right now. And so she's like, oh, well, he just ordered the medication. And so I'm thinking, like, why is she so nonchalant about it, you know? Like, what the freak? Dre has also been following some holistic healing, and she's been doing some really strange things at the hospital. Yesterday, I put my saliva on him. So did I went all up in my neck my, and put it on him on the top of his head, on his neck, and on his. Did you turn away from me? You don't want to hear it, sir. Yeah, she just admitted to spitting and she wanted to put it all over him. I, I declare. So she also goes live from the hospital a lot while he's in his state. And it's just very odd behavior. So Vaughn's mother still hasn't seen him. She's been calling up to the hospital trying to find out information about her son's condition. But she's always been denied. I was wondering, do you have my son at your hospital? His name is Marvon McCray. McCray, M C C R A Y. Um, and what relation are you? I'm his mother. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to give out any information on him. At all, even because I'm, I came to Tucson to see him. At all, you got to talk to his wife. Now, Vaughn's father was allowed to see him. He was able to work out arrangements with the hospital to see him when Dre was not there. And also, Dre had to give permission for him to see him. But she has not allowed the mother to see him. In fact, she went on her Facebook page and told their whole life story, which uh, his mother says that it's not true. She did raise her son. She had her son young. She made some mistakes. However, he was back in her custody and she did raise him with his siblings. And again, his mother is very concerned about this. She just want to see her son and also get some truth on his condition because she feels like Dre isn't telling the full truth. He's been over 72 hours, y'all. They don't even have a ventilator in the room no more. Like, this is big. Do you guys understand? Like, someone who has, I don't want to say brain issues because I don't, I don't want to say that. But, like, someone who has had their brain affected and where doctors have said, he's just going to be in a vegetative state. Yeah, no, I refuse to believe that. No, thank you. Goodbye. I rebuke you. I'm just going to keep it a stack with you. Her behavior is odd and it gives me pause. And her not allowing the parents to see their son, I think that it is terrible. She's uh, raising money off of this situation, which I'm pretty sure she does need money because the hospital that they're at now is not close to their home. But it's just her behavior surrounding this whole thing just seems Odd. I'm sending healing vibes out to Vaughn. I hope that he gets well soon so that way he can tell his story himself. And I hope that the parents are allowed to see him as soon as possible. Players, put your thoughts in the comments. This took me a while, so you better love it. This is Double D Mo for the Black Red News.